Yeah. Yo, fuck you, man. I don't know what you talking about. You need to get this shit for real, man. For real. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, man. Remember all that girl up in the front row? For real. For real. So, um, this is the, we're in my office, and this is kind of the sitting area, meeting area for the office where I have sometimes meetings with people from the team and sometimes clients. And uh, the area is really outfitted with um, many things that I've designed. Um, one element is this uh, kind of seat, which is called the Sable du Ton, which is really kind of an hourglass. And it's made by Philippe Purel, and it's all out of uh, blown glass. Uh, and that's a side piece, part of a larger collection called uh, uh, A Lazy Afternoon. Um, then this is a lounge chair where the structure was designed by two brothers in post-World War Italy called Giudici, and it was for a, a hotel in the, uh, in the lake region of, uh, of Italy, in Lake Como. And there's an armchair and a sofa, um, and the armchair is uh, called Little Ray. Um, and it's made by a company called Duvivier with fabric from Didar and Piafre uh, and Nobilis. Um, then there's a low table here which is called Thunderbird. And this is an entire exercise which examines um, laminated leather as a structural element um, as opposed to leather which is just something that you cover. It, it started um, quite a long time ago, I think when I was about 15. I started designing uh, furniture and boats and uh, I actually thought I was going to be a naval architect for a long time and then I went to architecture school uh, in the United States at Cornell and when I finished I did architecture for a while and then I came across the work of Andre Putman and I just felt a new orientation, a new pull to do something else and that's when I came to Paris in 1987 to work for her and then we worked together with her for 17 years and I was her partner at the end. And then I opened my own office in 2004. In France, I have the impression um, that it's much more customized. You have an idea, you find an artisan who can make it. Uh, in America, you have an idea, you find the product that is already made and you adapt. I hear you have the idea and you just draw it and someone will make it for you. Okay, so here we are in the material area, documentation area. Uh, which is my little workshop and where a lot of ideas come together. Um, there are some prototypes that are happening here. This is a project that I'm working on for a client for a house uh, just outside of Paris. And we're looking at different materials, different paint finishes, different textiles of a rug from Taiping. Uh, doing again a lot of work with, uh, with fabrics. Um, Again, another table where we have ideas that are kind of in progress. This is, um, these are in fact, this is kind of funny. This is an ostrich egg. Um, and I'm doing a, a collection of light fixtures for this company called Tisserand Art and Style. It's one of the oldest lighting manufacturers in France. And they have ostrich eggs. And so we're doing a lighting fixture based on using ostrich eggs, which I think will be kind of fun. This is a, a mirror called Looking Glass which again is a, is a sort of concept piece because there are a lot of ideas going on. But what I like about this is that it's a, it's a, um, it's a disappearing mirror in a sense that down at this part it's a mirror, but as we get up higher up, it becomes transparent glass. And these are things that we don't see. And then it gets covered with um, vitrail to give it a certain texture. And as it's a mirror, um, so the whole idea of this mirror is it's a mirror to get undressed because usually you use a mirror to get dressed, but the process of getting undressed is a little bit different. Someone told me that my style was uh, basically textured minimalism. Uh, and that probably requires an entire analysis, but quite simply what that means is that um, it's very clean lines, you know, very simple um, forms, but I play a lot with textures and, and, and materials. And the idea is to uh, use grapes after they've been pressed, mix them with um, linen and with hemp uh, to make a paper. And there's an entire narrative behind that because the hemp is an element which was used for, to keep the champagne corks in by Dom Perignon many, many years ago in the 18th century. And so by using elements that are part of the whole uh, champagne uh, culture, you really make a product that has a lot to do with the champagne house. Right now. So here we're getting to some other pieces. So this is a chair design called Glenel, which is sold by a company called Picard, um, which is celebrating its 40th uh, anniversary this year. And Eckhart was uh, founded by Andre Putman 
back in 1978, and I spent, um, well, I'd say a good portion of my career uh, working working with her. So I thought it was it was very nice when uh, Ikal invited me to to do this chair and to, and to edit this chair. Oh, uh, on this side, so this is a, a console that uh, I designed um, for Architectural Digest in 2016, and it's about, it's a sort of abstract of a wave, uh, and so it comes from, it's called Zuma, because Zuma is a beach in, just near Los Angeles, and the, it's a big surfer's beach, and uh, I'm not a surfer, um, but uh, a lot of my friends are surfers, and so I did this sort of homage to them as this abstract of this kind of, you know, the, the tube, this sort of wave. And the finish on this console is all out of seaweed. So it's a way that we take seaweed and we we deconstruct it and we make, make a sort of um, paste and then we apply that back to um, the resin body, the structure, and then we varnish it. Um, so again, it's investigating other, you know, notions. So seaweed is a big, um, is a big point. Everyone here is rather young and I believe you know, it's important to have a young team. Uh, there are people that have been following me for a certain amount of time. And uh, so each person gets dedicated to a project and follows the project through all the time. And then I sort of float around and you know, make adjustments. And, but I really give people here a lot of, a lot of freedom to, to express themselves. And, and I really believe in this notion of exchange and dialogue. Okay, well, thanks for coming Design Mate. We had a really, really great time. And uh, if you're ever in Paris again, please come back and see us. Bye-bye. Take care. See you.